Welcome back everyone. Um, today I just wanted to let people know about a couple of sites that have been put up to do with Terran Ascension so you can get more information as it comes. First of all we've got a, uh, we're trying out Thunderclap. Um, we put in a trial, uh, we didn't actually give him the full two weeks so we're not expecting it to go through, just trying to see how, it, how, it, how this system works. But we've had some great support so thanks ever so much guys. It's been really interesting to see how much you could reach with only 18 supporters, you could reach 50,000, and that's like a lot better than any advertising. So um, we'd really like this to work for us, but we haven't really given people enough time to know about the campaign. So the first thing I want to mention is, and there'll be a link in the description, there is a, uh, <coughs> a thunderclap. What this is, is it asks your permission to post on either Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, or all three. This short message, which is in the blue box here, support Terran Ascension on Steam Greenlight, Indie Dev, Space Based RPG, Terran Ascension, and then a link. This link leads to our Greenlight page. Now, a couple of you will probably, well, probably many of you would have already seen this by now if you've been keeping an eye on things. But uh, just in case you didn't know, we're over on Greenlight and we're ready to accept people to say yes, no, or ask me later. Uh, we're only two months in development, so, you know, if you want to make up your mind later, that's cool. If you're not interested, well, let's face it, not all games are for everyone, so it's uh, it's fine. Uh, we've had a lot of good support, which has been really encouraging. Like I say, um, quite surprised, actually, uh, which is which is really nice. For, uh, for the last video, it was like uh, one week or two weeks. It, 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 oh, no, wait, was it yeah, one month in development, I think it was, yeah the last video that went up there so it's been a big big improvement um the new video is going to go up there soon so yeah go down here check it out we'll be putting up updates on here there's links to the twitter and uh, the indie db page which is where we're going to go and have a look at next um obviously we like to keep the screenshots up to date so uh, we will be removing the screenshots and adding new ones as time goes on um, but it'll just be enhancements. There won't be any major changes to the look of the game, as far as we know. Uh, we might change the styling, maybe. But uh, there'll be prototypes, and we'll get feedback before we do anything drastic. So anyway, um, we've also got ourselves a little dev blog, which we will be putting up information as and when. So whenever we've got some images to post, or for example, on this new this Thunderclap campaign that we are running... Um, so yeah, the idea was to try it out and see how it how, how it how it got on, um, ending on my birthday. Like I say, which is ridiculously early for a thunderclap campaign, um, but like I say, it's still early days for us, and we're trying to get the uh, trying to get in there early, as it were. So on here we've got the actual devlog, brief information about the game, the team. We've got a link to the roadmap, which is what we're going to talk about next. Over here on Trello, we've got the um, all of the planned features for the game. Once everything on this is checked, we're pretty much good for beta and final QA. So this is the funny thing about this. It's a small game that we're making and it has clearly defined objectives. So there's no need to go nuts and it's not going to take years to develop. Okay, so check out the Trello. Finally, the IndieDB will be kept up to date with a little bit more information than Steam. We'll probably be putting the summary posts up onto Steam at a two-week interval with a video every month on the first Sunday of the month. Um, the IndieDB will probably get more posts, uh, but if you want the most up-to-date information, you really want to go and check out either our Twitter, okay, uh, the Mushroom Fleet, Twitter, or any of the social media groups, because we'll, I'll be putting information up there, like screenshots as the game's being developed. Um, if you look down the Twitter page here, we've got a whole bunch of uh, images and whatnot to do with the game as it's been put together. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, just wanted to thank everybody for their support. It's been really great to see people getting involved and offering their ideas and feedback. Um, pretty much all the feedback we've received has been overwhelmingly uh, positive, which is really helpful. Uh, the few uh, pieces of negative criticism we've actually taken to heart and put into the uh, sort of feedback loop. So we've ended up improving the game in a number of places. First of all, uh, somebody put some constructive criticism towards the nature of the camera. So that now is a zoomable, 
um, adjustable, resettable, 360 degree camera now and you move to where you're looking rather than it turning the camera really jerkily which means the, cap the ship turns more realistically. Um, also wanted to offer a special th thanks to the uh, people helping us in our art department. So we've got some great textures now and the UV wrapping for all the models is starting to get done. All of the polish in that regard probably won't be finished until the end of beta because I don't want to put pressure on the art, art guys. You know, all the code and the actual uh, bug fixing can be done uh, without needing to make them make the same thing about 20 times. So we'll uh, take our time on the art assets, have them done for release. Obviously things would improve over time, like this was originally just a chrome. That was just chrome. So, you know, we're already seeing massive improvements. The levels are a lot larger now and there will be an option to tone down the particle systems because I've had reports from people. I mean, I'm actually using a low end PC to do all the development and record on. Um, well, not all the development, but most of the testing and whenever I'm doing videos and things, I'm going to be recording it on a laptop, not my best PC with my best graphics card. OK, because I think it's important to see what the game's like when you're not on a dev rig. OK, so that's pretty much everything I've got. Um, there'll be further announcements up on Instagram.com slash Mushroom Fleet. Uh, be sure to check out the Twitter. If you're unsure of any of the links, they're all in the right hand column on the townascension.shogunategames.com website. Um, anyone asking why that is? Well, there's going to be a Shogunate Games website and there'll be more games. So, yeah. Uh, but like I say, we're actually running two months ahead of schedule now. We didn't think that we'd be at this point, um, you know, until sort of the end of April. So things have been going really well. And um, yeah, thanks for all your support and thanks for watching. I'll see you probably in two weeks for another update. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.